possible Christmas, I would say, because a lot of people do overindulge and they don't really have much control over what they eat, but then end up paying for it later on. So we have our expert on just after this. And now we have our nutritionist with us, Lily Suter. Hello, Lily. Hello. Nice to have you on the show. Thank you. <laughs> so tell us, how did you get into nutrition in the first place? Um, so healthy eating for me has always been a big passion, but originally I suffered from chronic psoriasis, which is a skin condition. Mm. Had it from head to toe. Um, really? So I was determined wow. to do anything I could to alleviate the symptoms. Okay. Um, so I saw tons of doctors and they gave me, in those days, they gave me some things like cold tar to put on my face, but they just it just wasn't effective to, to keep it away long yeah, term. Yeah. Um, tried lots of different things like acupuncture and reflexology and nothing really seemed to work and then I saw a nutritionist who told me very sort of simple basics about nutrition and I changed my diet and it really really helped put wow. my psoriasis into remission obviously you can't oh, wow. cure it yeah. um, but simple things like cutting out the sugar increasing water consumption eating really? more oily fish and it's really really helped me personally with with my skin health so oh, that's amazing yeah so wow. since then i've really realized the power that nutrition can have I can imagine why you're so passionate about it yeah you've seen that those effects First in your own hand. life yes no okay. exactly so wow. well you look absolutely amazing thank I've you said, skin's glowing. <laughs> thank you so help our viewers then today Lily, because yes. obviously festive periods we we do tend to overindulge mm -hmm. or most people do and how can we sort of have fun at the same time, but also keep, you know, keep a bit of control over our eating habits. So obviously it's all about balance and, you know, having a bit of good and a bit of bad. But the main thing really um, is, uh, sorry, drinks parties. You've got to really watch out for the kind of pace because I think it's not necessarily what you're having on Christmas Day, which is unhealthy. It's more everything up. around, around yeah, it. So yeah. it's a build up. It's a numerous drinks parties where... You know, there could be cocktails, a lot of champagne going on, and yeah, it's to be yeah. aware of what you're having at the, the sort of Christmas party. So mm. number one, you know, you could switch your alcohol choice from very high calorie, sort of high sugar alcohol, things like cocktails, which mm. should be completely go, um, and switch it to sort of something which has got a low sugar content and is okay. less concentrated source of alcohol. So you could go for a vodka mm -hmm. or a gin, like a clear spirit, Okay. with some sparkling water and a squeeze of lemon or lime yeah. which has around 70 to 90 calories so it's pretty low mm -hmm. it will not affect blood sugar nearly as much if you're going for something like a sugary i don't know prosecco yeah um and um it takes a longer time to drink so if you're sit there sort of socializing often we like to do things with our hands mm -hmm. so it's a diluted sort of form of alcohol and and it That's takes longer idea. to drink so yeah. It helps um, and it helps cut down the calories in that sense, but it's also the canapé. So I would say before Christmas parties, always have something to eat. Yeah. So a good yeah. blood sugar balancing meal. And by that, I mean a protein rich meal, which mm. keeps us fuller for longer because it releases energy into the bloodstream slowly. Okay. Um, so it, and, and with healthy fats and some complex carbs. So okay. you could have something like a chicken breast or a piece of fish mm -hmm. with some avocado for great healthy fats. And they, they will keep you full yeah. throughout the evening um, with some lots of fiber, so lots of mm -hmm. complex carbs and veg. And again, fiber keeps us full. So mm. eating before drinks parties will stave yeah. off the hunger. Yeah. And if you're starving when you get there, you're 10 times more likely to have five canapes or something which could rack up to several hundred calories so you don't realize how much that you know you're eating when you're doing because they look small a lot of them look quite small no that's not exactly much but actually it does really add up doesn't it and the majority yeah. of canapes are pretty um they will be high in calories they're high in lots of fat yeah. and to make them taste great mm. so that's probably the area to look at the most um okay. christmas day is easier yeah. like i personally think like you can be a little bit healthier in that sense so yeah. the actual christmas meal is pretty healthy mm. Turkey is amazing. It's a it's a great lean source of protein. Um, it's full of tryptophan, which converts to serotonin, the happy yeah. hormone within the body. So it's, it makes you feel great. Oh, I didn't know that. About <laughs> yes, yeah. So it's yeah. a good lean protein. Remember, protein keeps you full, so mm -hmm. it's great for balancing blood sugar. Um, you can have tons of veg. Brussels sprouts are always around. Yeah. Usually, at yeah. when I have Christmas, they are. Yeah. Um, you know, red cabbage, as much veg as possible. Mm -hmm. 
Roast potatoes, obviously, are maybe slightly high in calories, but they, you know, Still you could, vegetables. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could yeah. cook them with something like coconut oil or a fat, which sort of it's not a harmful fat basically yeah, to yeah. the body. So something which da doesn't get damaged at high temperatures. So yeah. it stays intact and it's a healthy fat still. Okay. So, so the vegetables are good. The turkey is great. What about things like the stuffing and the, the trimmings and all that kind of stuff? So I was going to come on to that. That yeah. is the area which maybe should be portion controlled. So it's okay. good to know where the healthy bits are and, and the maybe not so healthy yeah. areas are of the Christmas meal. So things like stuffing, there's nothing wrong with them. Again, it's protein, but mm. it's for, it will be high in calories and it's more processed meats go into stuffing. Depending what kinds okay. of stuffing you make, it, it's mm. can be, it can be varied. The chestnut um, one's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, something yeah. like that is, would be absolutely amazing. So it's yeah. really up to the kind of stuffing you have, yeah. but it's not unhealthy. It just will be high in calories. So okay, yeah. yeah. And desserts, Lily. What do we do about desserts? Okay, so mm -hmm. desserts, I mean, obviously, <laughs> there's no way around it in terms of the Christmas pudding. You can yeah. ha go ahead with that. But in my opinion, um, just having a small portion would be absolutely fine. You yeah. know, it's Christmas Day, tr you know, it's a fine to treat yourself. But I feel that it's not so much just having a small piece of de dessert, which is going to be the issue with weight gain or anything like that. It's more the chocolates around that the constant oh gosh, yeah. eating throughout like the yeah, day so yeah. that is when it racks up so yeah. it's sort of after the dessert and then having more chocolate or snacking throughout yeah. the day on yeah, on food like that so obviously if you're going to have the dessert portion control have that and really enjoy it if you can avoid snacking later on great but if not yeah. you could go and make something like healthy christmas chocolates yourself yes which are really easy uh -huh. um all you need is just some cocoa, cocoa powder mm -hmm. coconut blossom nectar which is it's, you can get it from some health food shops or yeah. online Coconut blossom nectar is amazing because it yeah. doesn't spike your blood sugar. Okay. So you don't have a blood sugar high and then a crash, and then you don't necessarily crave as much sugar mm. afterwards. So it gives you sort of a slow release of sugar into your bloodstream and oh, a slow release good. of energy. So it's, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then you can add some coconut um, oil, a little bit of almond butter. So it's about four ingredients. Mix it all together in a blender. Freeze it, put it in the fridge, and then you slice it. Oh, that sounds lovely. And it's a healthier yeah, yeah. chocolate. Obviously, you can't gorge on it. But just yeah, one <laughs> or it still has the calories, right? But, but at least it's better for you. Yeah, so it's yeah. a healthy Christmas chocolate, which doesn't affect blood sugar as much. You've got the great antioxidants, the yeah. magnesium from the raw chocolate. Mm -hmm. You've got some healthy fats from the coconut oil. Almond butter is a source of protein and full of oh. healthy fats. So guilt-free chocolate. Guilt that's free it. chocolate. Yeah, definitely. Lily, you've been absolutely amazing. I wish we had more time. We'll definitely have to get you back on again because I don't know. I think you have some more amazing recipes that you're going to tell us about, <laughs> yeah. don't you? Thank you so so much. No for problem at all. Thanks Thank for having you. me. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So don't go away because after the break we have Dr. Rob Hicks on, who'll be answering all your medical questions in our doctor's answer section. I'm Chrissy B and my show is all about improving your mental health and being happy. Join me every Monday, Wednesday and Friday at 10pm on my channel Sky203. Visit ChrissyBShow.tv for more information and subscribe to our YouTube channel Chrissy B Show. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Chrissy B Show and on our Facebook page The Chrissy B Show.